Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys what's in my carry-on bag slash kind of travel essentials. And I say kind of because some of you guys may think that these are not like essentials, but I like to travel with pretty much everything that I own, so I like to be prepared. <laughs> I would not say that I'm necessarily a light packer. I do like to pretty much have everything with me, like I said. So when I fly, I typically have a carry-on luggage as well as a personal bag and I keep everything that I need in my personal bag, so that would be like my essentials. So that's what I'm gonna show you guys today. I won't be showing you what I would keep in my carry-on luggage because usually that would just be like more clothes or makeup or shoes or something like that that wouldn't fit in my regular suitcase. Yeah, I'm starting to sound like I'm like a hoarder or something. <laughs> But yeah, anyways, I'll be showing you guys what's in my personal bag, which is usually always a backpack. So if you guys want to see what's in my carry-on bag, then just keep watching. So yeah, I will pretty much always just bring a backpack, and this is the one that I usually use. It's just from Pink. It's pretty old. It's not like the best structured bag or anything, but it's big and it fits a lot of stuff. And that is always my personal bag. And when you're on flights, a personal bag is basically just something that can fit underneath the seat in front of you. You're allowed a carry on and usually one personal bag on most flights so that's why I like to bring this one the first thing that I have in my personal bag is a second purse and this is from Stella and dot I like to bring a purse in my personal bag because I find that it can act as extra storage and then also just be like a way to have your purse in your bag and I like to keep the really important things in it like a passport and my wallet and then all of the travel documents because when I reach into my personal bag for my carry-on I don't want to be like digging around for important things because you have to like have your passport out at all times pretty much and then your boarding pass and all that stuff so I always like to have it in this bag because then it's like super super easy to get to next I have my prescription glasses and I rarely wear contacts I do have them but I always obviously love to have my glasses with me at all times if you guys are curious they are Ray-Bans and I love them they're really cute <laughs> next I will have a pair of sunglasses because usually when I go on a trip or like Hopefully when I go on trips, I'm going somewhere that's like tropical and warm and sunny. So I will have my sunglasses in there as well, just kind of ready to go for when I get off the plane. And I just have these in there right now. <laughs> you can probably see like everything in my room, but these are some sunglasses that I got from Free from Pink. And I think they're really cute and summery, so I have those in there. Next in my carry-on, I have my iPad and this goes everywhere with me. I pretty much have like everything possible on it to keep me entertained. I hate flying so much so I always need something to distract me and I can't really sleep on planes because I hate it so much so <laughs> this is kind of a lifesaver. It has movies, TV shows, games, um, magazines, pretty much everything that I could possibly need to be distracted. I will also usually have a bag full of electronic things, so like chargers and my headphones. I absolutely love the headphones that I have. My boyfriend bought them for me, I think for Christmas or my birthday, like two years ago, so I take them everywhere on every single trip with me. They are like the best headphones ever. This bag usually just has like phone cords and chargers and an external battery because your phone might die on the plane and some planes have like a little charging outlet thingy, but some of them don't, so I like to always have that just in case. I will also keep a notepad and a pen because I pretty much always write like packing lists every time I go on trips, so I like to see this while I'm on my trip to make sure that I didn't forget anything and then I can just kind of check it off and if I just need to write anything or if I'm bored, maybe I'll write a story. I don't know. And then the last thing that I keep in my carry-on bag is a little like clear bag or container that I can keep all of my like little toiletry type items or just extra things that I might need on the flight or in the airport or something. The first thing I have inside is a pack of gum and I feel like this is definitely travel essential. A lot of people travel with gum because it helps with their ears and the pressure changes because your ears can pop. I don't really notice it making that big of a difference. I just really like gum. Next, I will always keep a travel size of some sort of painkiller. I would not travel with this one because I put a sticker on top of it. This is just the one that I keep in my purse. I think for painkillers, 
painkillers, you have to actually have them in like the original packaging for you to be able to take it through security. So keep the label on it if you are going to be taking one through security. I also keep a travel size of Tums or Rolaids because if I get a stomach ache, then I'll take one. <laughs> And I think that having some sort of like hand sanitizer or cleansing wipes is also a really good thing because airports and airplanes are not the cleanest things in the world and these are just great if you need to like freshen up and make yourself feel a little bit more clean. And obviously the same goes for a pack of tissues because you might have a runny nose or something and these will definitely come in handy. And I like to always have a deodorant with me when I travel that I can reach really easily because sometimes you can get really like warm and sweaty on a plane and it just feels really gross so it's awesome to have deodorant with you that you can just quickly put on and make yourself smell a little bit better. <laughs> and keeping with the theme of smelling good, I like to have my travel perfume and this is the Travelo container that you can refill with whatever perfume you have. So this has been awesome. I take it with me on every single trip that I go on and I think right now I have the Ellie Sab perfume in it. I'm not sure though. Yeah, smells like it. <laughs> and of course, on an airplane, I also like to have lotion and a lip balm because a lot of people are always complaining that the air in airplanes is always really dry and it just dries out your skin really quickly. My skin is pretty much just always dry anyway, so this is a must for me at all times. And last but not least, in the little container, I have my toothbrush because you never know, you might want to brush your teeth if you're on a super long flight or as soon as you get there, or maybe they lose your luggage and you don't have one, so I think it's a really great thing to keep in your carry-on. And speaking of luggage getting lost, which hopefully never happens to you, but I know a lot of people like to travel with an extra set of clothes or underwear in their carry-on as well, just in case. I'm pretty sure this is the last thing, I might be forgetting some things, but but for this video, this is the last thing that I have and I always just have like a sweatshirt or a jacket that I keep in my carry-on and this is my Squad Goals sweatshirt from my collaboration with QT. I'm not sure if this one is still available but there are some other like Squad Goal prints on different things and I'll leave that in the description box below if you guys want to check that out too. I think that is all that I have in my carry-on bag, I'm sure. For other trips, I've probably had more or less or just different things, but this is typically what I like to bring in my carry-on bag. Let me know if you guys like to bring this kind of stuff too, or if you like to travel way lighter than me, or even more than me. I'd like to know and leave some like travel essentials below for other people if they're going on trips. They can check the comments and see maybe what they're missing. Make sure you're subscribed to my channel before you guys go if you haven't done that already. And you can also follow me on all of my social media, so Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, all that stuff will be listed below. And I hope that you guys enjoyed this video, and if you guys are going on a trip, I hope you have an awesome trip, and I guess I will just see you guys in my next video. Bye!